Advancement Technologies was our mystery chart, climbing 34% since its earnings beat just last month. They also announced they'll cut 5% of the workforce in the first quarter. Here in an exchange exclusive is Aspen Tech CEO Antonio Pietri. Antonio, welcome. Hi, Kelly. What's good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're, we're thrilled to have you here to get, give us kind of a closer look on what's happening on the ground. And what would you say is primarily driving business right now? Well, certainly uh, what we see, especially in the oil and gas refining and chemical sectors, is a strong focus on uh, continuing to drive efficiencies, uh, but also uh, managing their business uh, to make it more sustainable, uh, sort of managing through the energy transition. And this is driving a greater focus on uh, technologies and, and, and digitalization, including artificial intelligence capabilities. Do you think the impact of AI, the spend on it, is going to prove overhyped and that will go through a correction period, or will it just keep climbing ever higher? Well, I mean, Kelly, in our case, uh, we've been involved uh, with artificial intelligence for 20 years. Uh, since the late 90s, actually, uh, we went through, through the win uh, AI winter in the late 90s. But since 2010, uh, we've been introducing more AI capabilities into, into our products. It's not about a standalone uh, AI applications. It's about enhancing the accuracy, predictability of our products using these capabilities. And what we're seeing is our customers interested in this approach to AI, because in a way, the, the first principles of engineering that exist in our products, the chemistry, the physics, uh, the, the optimization, the math, provide the, the guardrails, the rules of the road for, for AI. And when you're deploying these capabilities in uh, very complex assets to operate, right. they want to make sure that it's trusted, it's robust, and, and, and provides those guardrails. So in that context, uh, we're seeing customers uh, becoming more discerning about the type of AI that they're willing to deploy in their organizations, uh, differentiating between uh, large la language models versus uh, AI, uh, AI algorithms that, that are driving a specific use cases. Mm -hmm. So we expect to continue to see increasing demand in this area. And this company was founded, to your point about you've been around for decades, 1981 it was founded out of MIT, headquartered in Bedford, Massachusetts. Our uh, friend Julie Beal was on the show last month saying she looks often at smaller and mid-cap, saying, look, this is, for those who feel like they missed out on the AI boom, your company is potentially another way to play it um, with the track record to make oil and gas companies, chemical companies more efficient. That said, some of the analysts who have, you know, the shares are up 5% this year, and the analyst community is a little bit concerned about what uh, is going on with write-downs related to Russia and so forth. Is there something mm -hmm. you can tell us about the business prospects there in a time of uh, tremendous uncertainty? Well, I mean, no doubt that uh, we're going through a moment of economic uncertainty, and, and our Russia write-down had to do with us exiting uh, the country after sanctions were imposed in the type of uh, technology that that, uh, that the Russians can have access to. But the last two years, we've integrated a couple of uh, great businesses into Aspen Tech. Uh, we've transformed them, uh, a business called Open Systems International that's moved us into utilities, into the transmission and distribution of electricity, managing and operating the grid and a business around the subsurface uh, simulation for uh, oil and gas exploration and production. Uh, now that we're through the integration and transformation of these two businesses, we've cleaned up uh, uh, our, our side of the Russia business. We feel very excited that we're now poised to really start executing on, 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 on our go-to-market uh, strategy to drive a greater use of our technologies. Uh, our customers are telling us that we're uniquely positioned not only to drive, help and drive efficiencies, but also help and drive resiliency and sustainability, reducing mm -hmm. CO2 emissions, uh, for example, for our global refining customers, and we're the leaders in that market. Uh, we estimate that we create about $22 billion a year in, in value, wow. uh, uh, incremental value, but also reduce their emissions by about 16 million metric tons per year, CO2 hmm. emissions. So this is the value proposition of Aspen Tech. We can make you uh, be more profitable, but also we can make you more sustainable at the same time.